Not a bad idea. It is, it's a flaming awful one. She knows I know nothing about polkas and fox trots and all them. Oh, kid, I want the job, but how am I going to explain that I'd be out late every night? She never understands. They never do. She goes spur. They always do. They never do. They always do. Can I think of something else to say? Young Woman's Christian Association. Yes, well, you've uh, said something different, but I don't see how it helps us. If I'm done properly, it does, because my man thinks I'm a receptionist at the YW. A receptionist? What do you do? Stick a Geiger counter on them as they come in. If it ticks, they're a Christian. <laughs> but it works. You see, my man's a religious sort. Well, if Mrs. Walker likes Strauss horses, it's the same kind of thing. YWCA? Hey, it's a thought. Oh, listen, I heard this one last week on Tony Blackburn show. Uh... Good morning. Oh, no, I don't think we've got to uh, onward Christian soldiers, but I suppose you could always order it. Oh, hello, Auntie Annie. This is Lorraine. Please to meet you, Mrs. Walker. Uh, I met her at my new job. Ah, mm. yes. This mysterious job of yours. Now I've been meaning to talk to you about it. Yes, well, I, I wanted to see if I liked it first. I, I think I'm going to. I mean, I know it's night work. What is the job, love? The YWCA. Oh. Uh, yes, I'm a receptionist. Uh, an elderly lady takes over at 11 o'clock. Uh, How very interesting. Of course, the money's not much cop. No, but there are other rewards, aren't there? Are you there as well, dear? Uh, no, I've just been going there since my father was taken. Oh, dear, I am sorry. Oh, it's all right, Mrs Walker, as long as there are people like Lucille. Well, it takes your mind off things, you know. Mrs Walker? Yes, Bert? Can you spare a minute? Draymond's here. He wants your signature. Okay. Oh, uh, Mrs. Nellie Harvey phoned. Oh, did she? She's coming to see you this morning, she said. Yes, well, we'll take Mrs. Harvey in our stride, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit strong, your dad being taken. By the bobbies, Saturday night. That's a sign of fair weather. Fair weather? When the little man goes out and the little woman comes in. That's Eddie Duncan. Eddie Duncan? Oh, aye, so it is. I wonder what he's doing in the Rovers. Mm. Dear old Eddie Duncan. Who the flame next Eddie Duncan when he's at home? Oh, you wouldn't know him, love. He's a footballer. He's been playing with the county all season. Big name. Got a very good memory, haven't you? Eddie Duncan, everybody... No, no, I mean remembering the Rovers. Oh, well, you see, I've got to come back every now and again just to remember where it is. Mm. Well, in that case, perhaps you'll remember that big drink you promised to buy me. <laughs> or is it juice in what? And don't say in a glass they all say that. I mean, vodka, a rum. A... Just orange juice. Right, orange juice. Real orange juice. We grow these in the backyard and tread them ourselves. Hey, you're not Nelly Harvey in disguise, are you? Right, Minnie Colwell, you and me will start as a collecting toys for kids and then we'll give them a party. Oh, I think that's a very good idea, Ina. And what's she going to be? The good fairy what hands out the presents? That's your job. He'd make a funny fairy. Yeah, so would you. Well, not as funny as you, cos I'm a woman. Well, the pair of you would give those children nightmares, so shut up. Father Christmas. How much? That was an expected question. Now. Oh, no, no. I have been a professional Father Christmas in most of the big stores in town. 
and you get note for note. Oh, the real Father Christmas doesn't expect to get paid. Oh, the real Father Christmas. They'll be taking you away in a black cab one of these days. You won't get paid because the council won't help. They need their money for sending councillors like Len Faircliffe on trips and that's to spare for kids at Christmas. Well, I, look, I still think there ought to be a gratuity. It's not only kids what want to hand out at Christmas, you know. Well, if you think there should be something in it for you, there's two councillors over there. Go and talk to them. I'll do that to know. One orange juice neat. No ice. Darling, the only time there's ice in this pub is when there's an icicle on the drain pipe. I thought they all have had dogs. He's not blind, Uncle Remus. Isn't he? Well, what's he wearing dark glasses for last week in November? <laughs> hey, good picture of you, that, in Gazette. What's he wanted for? Supping stuff like that, where else? <laughs> uh, I've not seen the local press. Hey, take good it is. Spit an image. I didn't think it was. I thought you said you'd not seen the local... Not seen you near before, have I've not been in here before. Well, there you are. Logical answer for everything. Who's a verdict county? I've watched them play a few times. Last time you saw a football match, I bet Dixie Dean were running around the field with them long draws down to his ankles. <laughs> That's Eddie Duncan. I know. You know what? Like what he said. That's Eddie Duncan. Yeah, and he's not blind at all. Mind you, I think some of his teammates must be, and the fellow that he took the ball off last Saturday were a bit that way and all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. Just about. You getting plenty? Can't complain. <laughs> Hey, do you know him? Well, I do now. He's the best striker County's ever had and never likely to get. Striker? That's what I was talking about when you were watching football. It was all centre-halves and half-backs. Now it, they have things like strikers. And midfielders. And sweepers. Hi, sweetheart. The Rovers return. Yeah, honestly, the Rovers return. <laughs> Is Mrs Walker available? <laughs> Thank you very much. I can see it's a phone. I'll tell her. She's doing the bank. Come on, come on. Of course I haven't forgot. Well, it just seemed like a good idea, that's all. <laughs> it's a funny little boozer. Some funny little folk in as well. You know your way, don't you, love? Thank you. Oh, I could get to the top of Everest without oxygen for that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just floating. Mind you, I don't believe that story about him and Miss Clapton. Well, if I was you too, I'd keep going to night school. He's more for mature ones like me. Well, get right over here quick. I'll have a Campari, ice and... Oh, hold it. No ice. Oh, a most obnoxious man. With dark glasses? Probably to hide his bloodshot eyes. <laughs> Doesn't sound like one of my regulars. Now, will you have a glass of my special sherry? Oh, I really ought to say no. Just a little one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought at first, uh, perhaps he was your mystery man. My? Your mystery man. You know, all that nonsense about the elixir of youth. <laughs> oh, no. And as you say, that was pure nonsense. Yes, it's probably only brewer's yeast. <laughs> Quite probably. <laughs> or wheat germ. Very likely. <laughs> or seaweed tablets. Just possibly. <laughs> With a suitable decantation set over them. <laughs> An arrowroot biscuit. Uh, no, it's one of those little things that I have to sacrifice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You know, I'm really very annoyed with the brewery. Oh? Well, I'm sure you had your invitation days and days ago and I only got mine this morning. Invitation? Oh, I haven't looked at my mail for days, dear. I've been so busy. Well, it's probably among all that unopened mail. Will you be coming? Oh, no, perhaps I ought to wait until you've opened it. Well, as I said, dear, I'm very, very busy, but where is it? The Robin Hood, tonight. Oh, no, 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 Nelly. Oh, far too noisy. Oh, I know what you mean. I feel the same. And your place is so cosy <laughs> and quiet. And mine, oh, well, they're thinking of making changes. And it's these changes that they want me to, and you, to go and look at. Mm. You know, this really does improve with age. Unlike some things, of course. Hey, fetcher. Knocker. Striker. Oh, why, that's it, striker. <laughs> Shall you be coming in here again? I might. 
Uh, is it true you get free tickets? That's right. Well, you know, I would support County a bit more than what I do, but it's the gate money, you know, and me being an old age pensioner and an ex serviceman. Uh, well, I, I might see you next time you come in. Ta da! Ta da! Well, what's he doing round here, anyway? Perhaps he's heard that our beer's good for training, oh. not. <laughs> Hey, perhaps he's got relatives round here. I should have thought it was pretty obvious. Come on. Well, it's obvious the fellas, isn't it? Beer swilling and talking football. And I've got shopping to do and work to go to. He's looking for his mate. Me? Dave Smith. Phew, I didn't know Dave Smith had any mates. Yes, he bought his way in as a director of county. Huh? The money he paid got fella, my lad. Hey, Edward. Hello, Smiler. <laughs> what are you doing in here, you daft lump? <laughs> I thought an escaped lion had come in the back way. Well. There's your answer. A footballer? A soccer star, if you please. Ooh, there's a difference. Mm, you'd have thought so if you'd have seen that lot in the Rovers. It's the first time I've seen Len Faircroft with his mouth open for that long without pouring a pint down <laughs> it. Why all the secrecy? Married? Oh, I shouldn't think so. That would bother her, but it's something more of a... Well, I know that some of us will find out. The question really is, who'll be first? Uh, can I... Uh, toys. I'm collecting toys for a children's party at the community. Oh, well, I think I gave you all the gardens for your jumbo sale. Oh, a pair of roller skates had broken wheel two years ago. So now what else you've been keeping? Well, there's an electric train set. Some bits of pieces, of course. I was thinking of keeping it, really, for the kiddies. <laughs> in time. Though with a kind of a girlfriend's gardens choosing, he'll be buying himself a real railway. It, uh, it'd be very dusty. Well, what do you think? Go in. Well, what else is there to talk about? Well, there's Emily Nugent coming back. Ah, yes, but Irma's fella is stock press. Football results. David was a footballer. She was a member of a lady footballer's team. Now if a footballer come on again, if you ask me anything, she's trying to get to Wembley on her own. <laughs> and it takes 11 men with big boots and thick knees all their time. Well, I wish her luck. <laughs> a monkey on a stick, even if it's broken. Or a tin tram car. We could find some biscuits to put in it. Anything like that. Oh, I'm afraid, Mrs Caldwell, toys like that will only be found in antique shops. It's all space probes and little bank robber outfits. Mm. Hey, how about autographs? Kids go for them. Is that fella for his moniker? I'll find mm. you some paper. Mm. Oh, thank you very much. Do you get used to it in time, like? Used to what? You know, being recognised and stared at. Doesn't bother me. Go on, I bet it would bother you if you didn't get recognised. <laughs> might it there. I like it, really. It feels all warm with them looking at you and talking about you. If he got a free transfer, how comes it that Dave Smith's money paid for him? Well, there's some up to transfer, and then there's a bit under the counter for this and that. Mm, money for lemons. Backhanders, like. Yeah, I see. Now, look, if Ina's kid thing comes off and I'm Father Christmas, council won't pay me. No. <coughs> well, why can't they give me a backhander? <clears throat> Could, uh, could I have your signature, please? It will cost you a bob or two, you know. I'll be coming in for some margarine. Oh, all well, right, Mrs Caldwell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Mr uh, Duncan. <laughs> He's a famous footballer, you know. That's nice. <laughs> hey, I have to be away. I'll come with you. No, don't bother. Finish your drink. Why are you ashamed? Oh, don't be daft. See you tonight. Oh, go on, talk amongst yourselves. Cheerio. Uh, quarter pound of tea, please. Uh, didn't you have some yet? 
yesterday. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. There's a splinter group of us at school who refuse to drink what the tea machine calls tea, so we make our own. <sighs> that's a laugh, isn't it? You know, when I was at university, I was going to change the world. And the only rebellion I get involved with is one with a tea machine. Mm. Hello, Hello, Ken. Hello. Uh, uh, can I have your signature, please? Oh, yeah, what's this, a petition? Uh, no, I'm collecting autographs for the children. Oh, yeah? Eddie Duncan, hmm. Ah, you've heard, then. Pope Paul? <laughs> oh, well, that was Tommy Deacon when he laughed after he'd read Mr, um, uh, what's his name, signature. Uh, and, uh, Bugs Bunny? <laughs> oh, that was Alan Howard. He was under a motor car. <laughs> oh, I see. Now, you want me to write down somebody famous, is that it? The first one's for real. What, Eddie Duncan? Mm. The county? Uh, Emma's going out with him. She's upstairs now, getting dolled up. Is she by mm. heck? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do then. I will sign Ken Barlow, brother-in-law of Irma <laughs> Barlow. <laughs> oh, you know, we'll be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't she come, Lady Godiva? Pardon? Lady Godiva, wouldn't she come? Oh, well, you know Annie Walker. Snooty. Not what I'm saying, Annie, because I can't stand mine. Think she's the Queen of Sheba and it's only a backstreet club. Mind you, I wouldn't have out said wrong. Anyway, you've come. Pardon? You, you've come. Oh, yes. What do you think? Pardon? What do you think? It's different. What? Different! As if I'm interested in the changing of the Robin Hood. So I said to her, quite emphatically, I said, Oh, no, Mrs Harvey, my place is here, in my own pub. Uh, oh, Bet, I think Mrs Colwell wants to they probably just changed it into a bar cup grill. Yeah, or maybe they filled it with trees. You are? Trees, you know, like dog shoes. Trees, Kenneth? Yes, the greenwood with all the barmen dressed up like Robin Hood's men. I know one pub has been done up like a tournament tent and there's a quick axe through your skull if you're not finished by no, sucking up time. I think I'd rather stay here, thanks very much. Thank you. For the benefit of your support. <laughs> you know, Al and I went in a pub the other Sunday and there was about 100 people in it, one barman, so that means we didn't get served at all. And about two minutes to time, the boss sort us downstairs away from his television set, <laughs> clocks himself on a stool at the bar, rings a bell, big bell, ding dong, and shouts, Sir, sh sup up or get out. <laughs> sup up or get out, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you want to become a rebel like me, I'll say. I'm fighting a battle at college against the tea machine, a lot of us using a teapot. <laughs> so why don't you take on a brewery? You mean, uh, like, distill me own gin? Well, uh, Brew your own beer, make your own wine. What is a sauce, isn't it? And then publicans would have to be polite to us, wouldn't they? Oh, a present company accepted, of course. Oh, yes, I testify that you are the hostess with the most of. And, of course, you don't get the Landlady of the Year award for nothing. <laughs> would you both care for a drink on the house? Oh. Chelsea. Then he went to uh, Charlton and then Walsall. Arsenal. It's not Arsenal, I'm telling you, Chelsea. Look, I've seen him play. A quid? Two. All right, two quid. That could come in very handy. There's this little nurse from the Christie's Hospital. Oh, kiss and cuddle in the Fog Lane car park. Her in through the window and the nurse says, oh, me off in my little motor car, peep, peep. That two quid will just do some petrol and a couple of drinks. You're a flaming charity, mate. <laughs> you know what you are, don't you? I suppose so, Ina. Well, what would any kid want with a lot of daft names on a piece of paper? Yes, well, Eddie Duncan's not daft. I mean, he's Itterford County. Well, the rest are. And who's Julius Caesar? The postman. Your pots for rags. Well, I thought it would amuse them, Ina. Uh, hello, Len. Uh, hello, Len. Are you, uh, are you still a member of that uh, club off uh, Albert Square? Unless my last cheque bounced, I. <laughs> Oh, you, you wouldn't like to take me there tonight, would you? Only I've, uh, I've been thrown out by uh, Irma and Sir Stanley Matthews. Well, there's nothing I'd like better, love, but it all depends on a bet I've had with my partner here, you oh. see. His two quid, my two quid, yes. Oh. Chelsea. Gunners! 
I asked you something in the pub at dinner time. Can I ask it here again? Go on, Smiler. Are you ashamed of me? Oh. How many times have I told you? Don't be daft. Well, why did you leave me in the robes when I wanted to come out with you? Well, you hadn't finished your drink, had you? It was only a swallow. Well, you know I had to get back to train. I was late. You've done it before in other places. You are ashamed. Smiler, you, you know the manager's an old Mary Ann. He doesn't like his little boys being seen out in the pub. Look, I rushed off, that's all. He doesn't like us being out in the night air. I don't know why he doesn't come and tuck us all in with a bedtime story. Is that straight up, Ed? Straight up. Honest. Um, what was that you said about a bedtime story? <laughs> You're looking very nice tonight, love. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello, Emma. Yeah, I do hope I'm not interrupting you or anything. Can be had up for using language like that on the phone, you know. No, it's just that me and a mate of mine, well, he's more of a passing acquaintance, really, we've had a bit of a bet. Was it Chelsea at Arsenal that Eddie played for before he moved to Charlton? Sure. Would you mind repeating that, please? The club! Fog Lane. <laughs> All right, uh, my love, just uh, carry on. Pretend I never interrupted you. Ta-ra. Yeah. There you go. <gasps> oh, well. I quite enjoyed that night out. Short but sweet. I'm oh, sorry, love. <laughs> Wasted a good perfume, that lass. <laughs> I say, what? Has your watch stopped a summit? Oh, I'm sorry. Chuck a game as fast as I could. He'll have given up waiting for me. Oh, shut up. Hey, can I give you a lift? Oh, it's our Chuck. Well, we're in looks as if we're in for a very cosy evening. You know, I can't help feeling sorry for Lucille. All the young ones out enjoying themselves, mm. and she's stuck behind a desk at the YWCA. Three of the groomiest movers in the business, y'all. The Aquarius Go Go Girls doing it again for you. Now, come on, join yeah. them. Let's have a ball now. Yeah. Yeah. Spread it up. See some rocking and rolling, something and soaring. Woo! <laughs> 